Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nashaban. I'm here to help you out with the uh, recovering some temperature data from a NOAA website. And uh, if you go uh, from Moodle here, here's the link to the uh, NOAA website, and that's what you'll want to do. And uh, it's the Earth System Research Laboratory Global Monitoring Division, and you'll kind of see how this works. Uh, we want meteorology, so I'm going to click on that uh, filter element. And uh, what we're going to focus on for this, uh, this exercise is minute averages, so I'm clicking on that. Now, uh, these are all these different sites. There's Barrow, there's uh, South Pole, there's American Samoa, and just uh, you'll get to choose which one you want, but uh, for now I'm going to go ahead and choose the Barrow data. And, uh, and so now we're going to be looking at minute by, by minute averages at Barrow, and uh, uh, what we'll want to do is choose one of these data sets from a while ago. So I'm going to just look at 1990. That seems like a long enough time ago. And uh, in this case, I'll go ahead and choose, um, let's say, January data. And uh, so I've done that. And now I'm going to right click on this. And I, what I need to do is save this to, uh, to my own, uh, to my laptop. And uh, so I'm going to do that. And uh, once we're done with that, then uh, what we're going to want to do is uh, open this up in uh, Google Sheets. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna i already got a link to Google Sheets. And, um, and uh, I'm going to say, OK, yeah, I want a new uh, spreadsheet. So I clicked on that blank guy there. Now, uh, because these, are, these, these files are delimited uh, by spaces, what we're going to have to do, uh, the columns are, are separated by spaces. We have to do what's called an import. So I'm going to do an upload there, select the file from my device. And uh, so there's that one minute uh, resolution data. And uh, hopefully this will work for you. Uh, uh, I'm just going to take all those defaults and say import all that data. And if it worked, then you'll see in column K a bunch of numbers that look like temperatures in Celsius, which seems to have done OK. So I'm going to click that column heading. And what we want to do is go to, uh, I want to insert a chart. So that's what I'm doing right there. And uh, uh, hopefully it'll come up here in just a minute and uh, it defaults to a line chart but what we really want is what we call a, this histogram so I'm gonna do that and um, well and there we go now in, in some cases you might be picking up a crazy range uh, way off to minus a thousand or something like that um, if, if that happens what we need to do what you're gonna need to do is uh, do what's called uh, customize um, uh, and uh, so, for example, here on the histogram, well, regardless, the bucket size defaulted to some value, but uh, I think a, a degree or one or two degrees is, a, is a, gets you better statistics. And uh, what else do we want to do? Um, oh, I mentioned that we want, might want to change the horizontal axis. So uh, the minimum, let's say I want to be minus 50, and the maximum I want to be... Um, whatever you know well actually I like minus 40 a little bit better so I'll do it that way and you can set the maximum uh, when you go to compare two different years you're gonna want to have uh, the that bucket size and the range of temperatures the same for the two different years what I also like to do is uh, uh, move this chart to its own sheet so it's kinda got its own default size let's see oh uh, so just so you can keep track of things uh, we do want to uh, uh, put some titles on this. So in this case, uh, this is um, this is going to be uh, uh, 1990 um, Barrow January temperatures. So you uh, can keep track of that. And uh, well, that's about uh, that's about it. Uh, you're going to want to choose a different time period and uh, do this again and make sure that uh, the ranges are all the same so you could maybe compare uh, some climate changes over the course of, uh, of, of the, that time interval.